Hi, it's Chris Gibson from Icon Collective here. Today we're going to take a look at follow actions within Live9. Follow actions define what happens to a clip after it's played and can be a great way to inject some variety into using loops. Let's have a look. On my first track here, I have two different drum loops. Let's take a quick listen. When listening to these, I'm thinking, hey, it might be great to have the first one play for three bars and then have the orange clip come in as sort of a fill on the fourth bar. I can do that by using a follow action. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner, if I open up L for my launch options, there's a tab called Follow Actions. The first thing to do is to select the span of time we want to pass before the action occurs. On this first clip, I've chosen three bars, zero beats, and zero sixteenth notes. Underneath, out of the list of actions, I've chosen next, meaning that I'd like the purple one to play for three bars and then automatically go down to the clip and play the clip beneath. On the clip beneath, I've chosen it to play for one bar and then play the previous clip. The result is this. Awesome. Let's take a look at a bit of a more complex scenario using follow actions. On the track over, I have seven different drum loops. What I've done is selected all seven of these loops by holding shift and clicking on top of all seven of them. I can verify that they're all selected by looking here and it's telling me that I have seven clips selected. I've opened up L for my launch options. I've chosen I'd like zero bars, one quarter note, and zero sixteenth notes to pass before an action occurs. Out of my list of actions, I've chosen other. Other is an interesting follow action, and basically what it means is that any of the samples other than the one that previously played will be triggered. The last step in this equation is to enable legato mode. When legato mode is enabled, the clip will begin playback from the relative position of the currently playing clip. Let's take a listen. So using this type of follow action can be a great way to spice up using loops. Also, using Live's very flexible routing options, I can capture this loop onto one new clip. Here in the bottom right hand corner, I just want to make sure that my I.O. is being shown. Then I'm choosing Audio From Resampling. I record Enable a new track, hit any of these empty slots, and begin recording onto a new clip. So this is a super fun way to actually create new content from existing clips. Now I have contained within one loop an 8-bar phrase made up of different sections of these other 7 loops. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This was Chris Gibson from Icon Collective talking about follow actions. I hope to hear what you do with them.